It's day two of weaning my foster kittens. They're going from drinking kitten milk replacement formula to solid food. First up is Daffy, and she is by far my best eater. Once Daffy is done, then I start feeding Tweety and Taz. Tweety is on the left and Taz is on the right. Taz is doing really well today. He has been finishing his portions without any issues. Tweety is either full or she's not feeling it today, which sometimes that happens just because their first reaction to food is positive and they eat it doesn't mean that it's gonna keep going. That's what makes weaning pretty tricky and sometimes frustrating, but that's okay. I gathered the food and put it into a little pile with my spoon to see if Tweety would eat a little bit more and she went for it. She ended up not finishing, but that's okay. Next is Bugs and he's been flat out refusing to eat. He's probably spiting me because I doubted him in the first place because he's my smallest kitten. So this is a nice little trick we use for weaning. Heat up a little bit of kitten formula and mix it into the food and hope for the best. Thank goodness it worked. This may seem like we're taking steps backwards by mixing milk in because he did eat the wet food without the milk in the first place. But for kittens this age, you have to do what it takes to get them to eat and gain weight. When kittens are weaning, it's important to supplement them with kitten formula until you know for a fact that they're eating enough to gain weight. Monitoring their weight before and after each feeding during this time is especially important. Kittens need proper nutrients and enough calories to continue growing. And if you're taking care of foster kittens, you're the only one who can provide that for them. Thanks for joining me for day two of weaning kittens.